prophecies promises principles prophecies prophecies give us a road map to the future why so that there will not be fear again as we live it gives us a road map to our own future here in this life and even in the life after this is total victory for the believer so we know that whether in this life or in the afterlife we still are victorious because we have searched the end of it and we have seen that even in the end according to prophecy we remain victorious this is the believers hope the Bible says if our hope is only in this life we are of all men most miserable so in as much as we excel and we reign in this life we have hope through prophecy the Bible lets us know that one day not a parable that it will happen we are going to hear the trump of God sound is it in your Bible or have you stopped reading it and it says that we the dead in Christ will arise first for instance and that we who are alive and remain we will be caught up and we will meet him in the air never to be separated again the Bible by prophecy tells us that there will be a new heaven and a new earth hallelujah the Bible tells us that a time is going to come where there will no longer be wars again where there will no longer be famine again where the wickedness of men will not find any expression again so it gives us hope everything that is happening in the earth today to the believer it should not be a surprise the bible already told us contained in scripture are principles contained in scripture are promise and um, are, are promises and principles and prophecies can i tell you when you find the prophecies you can bring forth your strong reason when you find the principles you can obtain grace to walk in keeping with the principles the principles do not fail they are backed up by god's own integrity and then the promises give us hope and assurance so that we are not afraid we don't need to enter tomorrow to know what is there he already went as omega and he's brought back what tomorrow is and he's told us that we are victorious there is no anxiety there is no fear he's told us that we are victorious did he not say that a time will come when men say there is a casting down so he told you already that that time will come in Isaiah chapter 60 did he not tell you that the time will come when darkness will cover the earth and even cross darkness the people but he told you that upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise listen to me if you want exceeding expectation you want exceeding greatness a life that brings glory to the name of the the Lord a life that brings dignity to you a life that wipes away shame and reproach from your life and your family can I be honest with you do not make the mistake of Martha Martha was running around looking for so many things and Jesus said Martha you are this is we live in a world where people are running from pillar to post ignoring God and pursuing connections and all these things only find their value if you if the word of God is in place in your life running from everywhere searching for salvation I came tonight as a first session to lift up the word of God to tell you again that this is not an ordinary book this was God's recommendation to a young man who was able to excel beyond imagination the Bible speaks about men who honor this word time will fail me he says to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions you can pay attention to what I've shared tonight and take it serious and begin to open this Bible searching for promises searching for principles that make for an exceptional life or you may fold it as an intelligent preaching from a man of God and not do anything with it because the Bible says they had the word just like we did but it says the word did not profit them not be mixed with faith in them that had it it says now that ye know these things happy are you 
if you do them. I'm hoping that the session that we'll have, will have the time to share a few principles in detail. Because God is determined in this season to announce you. God is determined in this season to see that everything that looks like reproach. Can I speak to you? Listen, as I wrap up, I want to tell you this. Do not let anyone talk you down and believe that just because you came from a background, you came from a place where no one seems to have celebrated you. Nobody in your family has risen to another level. And every time you aspire to rise so that Jesus be glorified in your life, the devil can come and speak to you and say, who have you seen do this in your family? Can I tell you this? By the grace of God, this conference seeks to not only give you enlightenment, but bring grace upon your life that moves you beyond your imagination. Can you spare one minute to pray? Please jump up on your feet. What is the prayer tonight? Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. This becomes our prayer as believers. One prayer point and we are done. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9. Apostle Paul is mentoring the church in Colossae. And he prayed a prayer for them. Bowing his knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he mentioned three dimensions of knowledge. That must be the capture of our prayer tonight. That ye be filled number one with the knowledge of his will number two ye be filled with all wisdom and number three ye be filled with spiritual understanding that if these dimensions are captured in your christian experience it is impossible for you to fail you can fail if alone but i said you and jesus you and the world cannot fail together say after me father Shout it again. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to contend for promises, for principles, for prophecies through the word of God. Lift your voice and pray. I obtain grace for the sake of my destiny, for the sake of my lifting. I obtain grace. I obtain grace. To search for promises. The promises that represent the boundary of your commitment to my life. That God cannot be committed to the believer outside of what he has said. The promises of God are a capture of how far he can go to lift you, to bless you, to honor you, to reveal himself through you. And then principles, the ways of the kingdom, the modus operandi of the kingdom. Then prophecies that drive away fear, revealing your future to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I pray for you tonight. That in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Every promise of scripture that your eyes need to see that is connected to the next level of your destiny. This night, may my God open your eyes to see it. May my God open your eyes to see it. Some of you, it will be revealed to you in dreams while you sleep. May my God open your eyes to see it. The principles that you may have ignored, that may have been responsible for stagnations and limitations of all sorts, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the light of God's word come tonight and open your eyes to understand those principles. Finally, every manifestation of fear in your life by reason of the uncertainties of tomorrow, I decree and declare, let it disappear from your life forever. Hallelujah. Now, I apologize for taking our time, but as we have been taught by our Father in the Lord, it may not be just to wrap up this meeting without making a very serious altar call. Now, please listen very carefully. Most people trivialize altar calls because they think it's just a religious activity. Can I tell you this? 
it will be impossible to believe that everyone coming here has taken God seriously. Remember the formula, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning, God. Not in the beginning, breakthrough. Not in the beginning, prosperity. I know we're out of time, but someone's destiny. For someone, you may be the first person to make this decision in your family. Now hear me, there are two categories of people I'm going to call. The first is someone who came for this conference and you are saying, Apostle, I have come sincerely. I don't want to tell myself lies. I need Jesus. I have not made this decision sincerely. And number two, there are those who will say, I remember giving my heart to Jesus Christ, but honestly, in the last one year, things have gone haywire my life. I cannot sincerely say I'm in a right relationship with Jesus. I'm going to count one to five. I like you to leave your seat if you belong to any of these categories. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. One, are you celebrating them as they come? Run to Jesus. Two, by the time we count one to five, we'll stop there. Run with passion to Jesus. Win that war of destiny tonight, once and for all. Don't sit back being ashamed. God is giving you a new beginning. Some of you are not just coming for yourselves. You are coming for your family. You are coming for your destiny. Are you running three? Run to Jesus. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed of my colleague. Leave them alone and run to Jesus. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you for. If you're joining them, please hurry up. We're out of time. I love you forever. I love you forever. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. All of you who are standing here, I want you to mean it with Jesus. Let this not just be an emotional thing that you are just running to come. The Bible says everyone who comes to him, he will in no wise cast away. Lift your right hand high above your head. And you who are watching from your homes, you're watching via the internet, you're watching through whatever platform, you want to give your life to Jesus, now is the moment of salvation. I'd like you to join us as we pray this prayer. Lift your right hand high to heaven and I want you to say this loud and clear. Let it be from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I declare that I cannot help myself. I come to you just as I am. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Tonight, I accept you as my Savior. I accept you as my Lord. I accept you as my King. The power of sin, of Satan, of hell, and of the grave is broken over my life. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we thank you for these ones. They have come in response to this call. No man is able to convict men except your spirit. And we thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit even tonight. I decree and declare according to the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven. And I declare that my God gives you a new beginning. From today the power of sin, the power of Satan is broken over your life. Receive grace to walk in victory. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. 